Well, well let's talk about PTSD and TBI. Um, <clears throat> I personally worry a bit about this broad generalization and labeling of this new generation. Um, you know, probably, it, uh, I, and I've been talking about the notion that there should be a PTSNR, post-traumatic stress normal reaction. Um, and you know, it doesn't mean that there aren't people who are essentially disabled by you know that that experience and so forth. But I think a lot of folks can be treated and given some support as they work through those issues, get back with their families, work through some of the you know the stressors that that they dealt with, and, and with assistance from us. And we are learning more about you know. Medicines that, that might help with that, as well as the type of counseling techniques and so forth. But we need to stay in the forefront of that. But you know, you worry about labeling somebody at your age and say, "Well, you've got PTSD, and you're going to be quote flawed forever with it." It's not true, right? Um, no. Those that are, those that do have those kinds of problems that are truly post-traumatic stress disorder, we need to be ready to take care of them provide them whatever support to give them the best life that they can possibly have for the whole rest of their life. And they're going to, they're going to live to be longer, too. So, you know, the VA isn't without a, a future mission here. And we need to adjust so that it's a 21st century mission, not a 19th or 20th century mission. So you, you think there needs to be a reevaluation of how uh, the diagnosis is, sure. is put out there then? Yeah, I, I, and I think we just... Now, that doesn't mean that they, they can't benefit from the counseling and so forth. And we just need to keep exploring. TBI, same thing, you know? I mean, I looked at a group of veterans today that uh, were some big guys in there. I knew they played college football or high school football, and you know they all took a, you know, a lick at some time or another, and then they shake it off, and you know, you, you maybe you have a little bit of a symptoms for a week or a month or a few months, or you know, even up to a year, but post, you know, mild post-concussive syndromes go away. You treat the symptoms, treat the headaches, you, you know, you, uh, and, and you give them that support of it. You say you're going to be, you're going to be fine. You know, we, we see it in, in the United States in car accidents, but they've had serious, um, and and those people they need s special support, and we need to be the very best at that in the VA because we want to give them that support for the rest of their life as long as they need it. Again, with the notion, every one of our soldiers, our veterans, our sailors, our airmen, Marines, we, what we want is to give them the best life possible um, if, if they've been injured in, in uh, the service of their nation. And so we've got these polytrauma centers. You know, They started out as TBI centers in 92. So we've got a, a information, and we're continuing to push the envelope to learn how to rehabilitate people and give them the best possible life that they can have. You know, there's, it all depends on what claims you're looking at in some ways um, and what is backlog. But there may be 600,000 claims that are in the process of being rated. If it takes an average of 145 days, you know, that's what our goal is um, to rate, then those claims, that's not really backlog. That's in process, you know, claims. It's the backlog is when you're in excess of that. And so, you know, I think, you know, we, we do have some in excess of that, and we're working hard to get at that specific. The other is separating out the, the groups of claims. Uh, educational claims, as an example, um, you know, we, we're, we were taking 44 days to um, adjudicate an original educational claim. We're down to 24 and a half days. Uh, you have a supplemental claim that comes in <coughs> on educational claims, um, and those were are, are now taking 11 days down from 15 days or so. So we're, we're, there are some certain pockets that we're making some significant progress. The VDD claim is about 85 days on average. Now there's some on the long end and some on the short end, and we we're working to cut down the variance, and we're working to <coughs> look at understand the variance so that. If you're in one state, you, you get and you have the same kind of injury and, or, or uh, disability as another state that you get a comparable rating. So we're looking at looking at that as an issue. I know that's been raised in, in a number of cases, and we're so we're taking a good hard look at that. We're we're making progress. I was uh, you know we've got some places uh, the BDD where we're doing paperless uh, 
adjudicating, and that's really positive. I was up at our insurance center where so much of that is done through, a, you know, with a, with call centers that are now automated with really um, professional uh, technology enhancements that the information is right there for the operator to get the stuff plugged in. And so our insurance center is really working smoothly. I'm very pleased with those kinds of activities. We just need to get that applied to the broader uh, issue of the claims. And it, it, but it's a huge, broad mission. We are pushing the envelope of advancing access through primary care. We are marrying mental health with primary care to cut down the stigma, to increase availability, to encourage those who have those kinds of issues to come forth, and recognizing that some people that present with physical issues have, have mental health issues that need to be dealt with. Uh, we are expanding our community-based outreach clinics, or uh, uh, outpatient clinics, 64 this year, uh, 51 in the next, uh, in the 2009 budget. Uh, we have uh, expanded telehealth, there'll be 25 new telehealth uh, points of access uh, in the 2009 budget as an example. Uh, all of those are, I think, examples of how we are reaching out to meet the, the mission that uh, President Lincoln gave us. George Washington talked about that. 1789 talked about the willingness of young men and women to go to battle depends a lot on how their perception is of how veterans were treated from prior wars. So we're in this together with uh, the great folks across the river in DOD. And I'm so pleased that the, the Senior Oversight Committee that is co-chaired by my great deputy, Gordon Mansfield, and uh, uh, Deputy uh, of Defense, Gordon England, um, has been working so collaboratively. Um, I, I had nothing to do with it, but I was really pleased to see the, the focus on doing things right. You know, I have a military officer over here on my personal staff to make sure that we can run the traps across the way. I've given them, uh, Brigadier General Tucker over there, and the Marines also, uh, a dedicated VA person to be on their team. We are, we will provide a, a deputy to General Sutton as she stands up you know, the, the PTSD TBI Center of, of Excellence. So, you know, we're, we're going to work hand in hand and understand that this, even though we got two big systems with you know, a mission for the military focused on returning people to duty and, and sustaining the force, and ours really is supportive of that with the rehabilitation uh, and long-term reintegration of soldiers, sailors, and Marines into society. Um, we, we've got a overall, it's a common mission. You know, I, this, this is uh, finishing its ambits. Mm -hmm. And I have a, I got a, a very nice card from a lady who, um, whose husband, I operated upon back in 1980, and uh, who sadly died seven or eight years later. And uh, just congratulating uh, me on my selection. And you know, we become friends. You care about your patients, you know. But I noticed that she had a little amp that sticker on her stationery, and it reminded me that survivors are also a part of our responsibility, as you said. To, care for him who showed up on the battle, and his widow, and his orphan. And uh, it made me feel good that we were reaching out, and this lady was getting DIC, and so we're supporting her uh, as, as we should.